Hi everyone, it's Muriel, and I'm here to show, show you and share with you some happy mail that I received from my fairy crafty godmother, Irene. Hi, Irene. So, Irene and I, uh, a couple of months ago, agreed to do a swap, and this was the last of three swaps that I did uh, this year so far, because my... Uh, time right now is pretty preoccupied with graduation so I didn't want to make any commitments but I had made one to Irene back last year maybe and said April that we would share a Tussie Mussie and we would use the Bohemian Bazaar Graphic 45 paper and that we did and I got Irene's package earlier this week and um, looked at it uh, last night and it's just the cutest Tussy Mussy I have seen. Now Irene is over at Crafty Irena and she said this was the first one she made and I have to tell you it's beautiful. So she started out by sending me a little note card and if you recall on her video her mother had gotten a hold to some of her flowers and had separated the petals so Irene needed to do something quick and she is the queen of altering a um existing card or if this is pattern paper I'm not sure but it's very cute and then she just put a doily and some uh, newspaper print some uh, of the flowers some of this uh, uh, netting and a gold button with a note here just a note so inventive thank you so much with a cute sentiment on the inside now let me show you this Tussie Mussy and it's cute because the envelope has this stamp. I love the stamp. Some people strengthen others just by being the kind of person they are. And you know, all the fonts are different. All the sizes are different. Just a really cool, like a ticket stamp. So thank you for that. And then look on the back. And you know what those are, enamel dots. Yes, Irene have made herself some enamel dots. So here is my Tussie Mussy. Now the top of the box had this beautiful red and white polka dot paper and a little note that said, please take your time and enjoy, don't rush. Sure. <laughs> Look at this Tussie Mussy. It is the cutest. I love the size. Love the size. It's like a extra large waffle cone. The paper is beautiful. The, the Tussie Mussy is so cute, I read. It really is. I love all the colors. She even put like a chunky charm down at the bottom. She used some beads, some um, cute acrylic um, pieces, uh, some beautiful ribbon. And um, I had sent to Irene a couple of months ago the Bohemian Bazaar paper pad because I purchased it at my local scrapbook store and they were uh, $10 for the pad so I bought her one and myself one and then um, a couple weeks after when we did another swap I sent her some of the ribbon that I had saw um, that they use at my scrapbook store so I'm so happy to see that you put that ribbon to use it's so pretty look at this beautiful blue yellow red orange flower here she even put a red doily in the back if you can see that that is gorgeous Irene love that idea these leaves are um, they're not Muslim they're um oh my gosh I can't think of the, the name of this right now but look at them and then she trimmed them or uh, edged them with some silver stickles burlap <laughs> so flipping cute this is there is some crocheted lace around the top she has this cute little um it's almost like an acrylic um flower then a paper flower then a bead and that's what she's got this beautiful ribbon that i got for her uh to uh, make a um little uh strap and then inside are some of these cute flowers that she also used in the Tussie Mussy. Look at them. They're pink and orange and so fun. This is so cute and it's so spring-like. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. And you know Graphic 45, the paper speaks for itself. So you didn't overdo it. I think you did a wonderful, wonderful job. Thank you so, so much. I absolutely love it. Also in the box homemade enamel dots <laughs> love these look at them she just melted up a storm and you know this is something I have been wanting to do but 
I kept on going, okay, when I go to the 99 cent store, I started first by asking people at work who have children, who wants to get rid of those pony beads or whatever they're called, and I couldn't find anyone. So Irene, thank you for this cute little supply. This is like all I need. There's probably 500 of them in here, and they're all colors. So thank you. I thought that was a cute, cute, cute idea. Let's see, something else that's adorable she sent to me. I absolutely love this, Irene. She sent me this mason jar. Look at the flower on top. This cute little red flower with this black shiny ball. It has trim, gingham ribbon, a cute little rooster. And on the inside, there are a bunch of tags. And they say, do dads from the coop house. Do you love that? This is an idea. This is how Irene thinks. She's always thinking. I probably have a thousand of these tags when I used to buy a lot of items from QVC. And I think one time I bought a bunch of tags. Circle tags, triangle tags, diamond tags, heart-shaped tags. And I still have them. Every now and again I pull them out. But what a fabulous idea to give someone. And they're just all in here. So every time you get a doodad, doodad bag from Muriel, it's going to have one of these little tags on it. Cute idea. Irene, thank you so much. I thought that was adorable. And then I got a fabulous, cute bag of buttons. And do these go perfectly with the Bohemian collection? I think so. I think so really cute of course I probably I'm not sure if I'll use them in mine but I do have an idea to use these buttons they're so cute I love all the fun colors so thank you for that my friend and then um, from the um, hands of Irene she made me some homemade flowers look at those beautiful gold button with that red flower and the um, netting and I'm not sure whether these are some of the flowers that mom pulled apart but I just have to say thank you she made this tag using some of the bohemian collection and of course she has her little signature back here and the, inside these cute little plastic bags so she made me two packs of the flowers which are adorable and then some of these flowers so cute she put a note on here and it says that I made these flowers each petal is made one at a time, then put it together. I hope you enjoy them in your project. Look at that. Each petal, so that means you make each one of these individually, and then you put it together somehow, either sewing it, gluing it, not sure. Then you put a pearl or a, um, she did some eyelash trim. She did a flower on this one. Aren't those just so cute and sweet? Thank you for those too, Irene. Let's see here. Oh, and then I got this, which I love. This is going on the desk tomorrow, on Monday when I go to work. It's one of her infamous tea light candle um, <laughs> images. There's got to be a name for these because they are so cute. This one has a dragonfly. Is that just the cutest thing? She put stickles on the petals, on the tips. And um, it says, have a great day. And there's that beautiful dragonfly. And of course, it's a tea light candle. So only thing you do is turn it on. And look at her. <laughs> it turns different colors. Holy crap. Oh my God, let me turn this light out. Is that just the cutest thing ever? <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, yes, I absolutely love this. So thank you so much for that. Like I said, I'm taking it to work. It makes me smile. And then um, it didn't stop there. Irene went so far as to create for me, um, especially for me, a, um, gosh, she had the name of it and I can't. Okay, so here's the outside of the, um, I want to call it a stick pin or pin cushion book it's so cute okay it has this little especially for you tag that just kind of goes back there but look at all the detail in this book it's beautiful the nylon butterfly the um, homemade flowers that she made in white the acrylic um, flower here all the lace all the trims and this is like a uh, felt and then the same binding opens it up 
and then what you have are um, just a wonderful bag of goodies. I have to tell you what that says. So here are some of those beautiful shiny buttons on a Butterick um, card. And she says, I made this for you. So sweet. Okay, and then there are some, um, let me see. Oh, this is just a little signature here. And there's a lace pocket where it goes. Love this. And now in here, I, I looked at this and I go, oh, what is this? So I started to open it up and there's a note and it says, this, uh, this sewing book was made for you. I hope you enjoy it. I, um... <laughs> Um, she's sharing this with me being as special as I am. I'm, I'm improvising here. But she says, um, since this book has many sharp items, it's my thing to give coins. The thought is I adore and cherish our friendship and don't want a sharp item to pierce our friendship. Old Russian superstition. Do you love that? So inside here are a bunch of coins. And I'm just going to leave them in there because <laughs> it's so sweet. Oh my goodness. I love, 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 love this. Look at this book. So there are the stick pins that she made. Beautiful pink stick pins. And they all have um, closures on them so I don't stick my finger. Love the lace, Irene. Love all this crochet trim. Beautiful. And then the second page... Um, this pocket is for you to use. Okay, so then I would put whatever I want right there. And then in here, which I am falling in love with, it says, this came from my mom's box given to her when we came to the U.S. 43 years ago. So you know where these are going. To the hoard vault. Unless I find a special, special occasion to use them. So thank you so much for sharing these with me. They're on the card. They say 10 cents. Oh my gosh. And again, they have the pocket here that she um, made. This is so cute, Irene. Some more stick pins. Some orange ones, which are gorgeous. Shining, beautiful beads. And then there are these um, fabric buttons here which I love, love fabric, but I love that shabby chic um, pattern. And then this one here has the cards with the pocket that goes that way. Okay, so I don't know, pictures can go here, maybe some things that I make, I can take a picture and enclose those in there like that. This is so cute. And then look at those pink safety pins. <laughs> Where do you find pink safety pins from? I guess you can. I get. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've um, shopped for for diaper pins, but these are safety pins that are pink, so they're so cute. And then there are some colorful stick pins there. Not stick pins. Those are um, straight pins. What a cute idea! And then back here is some um, tape measure, and she says that um, she found this at a local antique store very cute and then there are some um, needles just some household needles that go in here this is so flipping cute Irene totally in this lace these appliques are beautiful what a sweet 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 little book thank you so much I appreciate everything um, you know especially what you got from mom's book and the um, the Russian superstition love that <laughs> the stick pins are gorgeous so thank you i love this i know many of you ladies have tried or have made some lace books i know um um bonnie over at um scrap i can't even think think of her name right now but um she's made lace books so they're pretty popular i just have not tried one yet okay so let me move along i got also this beautiful paintbrush and I watched this on your video Irene I had no idea you would send it to me this is absolutely beautiful painted red has bling on it has the seam binding handle has this beautiful momenta corner which is perfect some more of those beautiful orange and red and yellow flowers with burlap with some um, stickles on it and then she has a crocheted lace trim that goes around the back 
and then on the back there is some more stickles and some not stickles but some um, black um, bead tr um, bling trim and then some silver here and then her name I don't know if you can see it right there Irene uh, 2014 and the brushes it's it's all red I don't even know how you did that and then she has a um, the word friend right here with this beautiful butterfly and some more bling this is so cute I love it I'm gonna enjoy hanging that on my wall probably when I get to the um, the new room once my daughter takes off but that is so cute thank you so much for sending me that and let me just make sure I have all this beautiful tissue paper everything was wrapped in this tissue paper so I'm trying to keep it um, nice and neat because I'll be sending it back to you <laughs> and then finally you guys Irene made me a awesome awesome um, what do you call this a cupcake tin it's so cute look at that it says just for you with the um, bohemian paper and a doily so cute for um, a tag and um, I, I did unwrap it, so I got it all together. I arranged one to make sure that it didn't um, open up in transit, and it did not. So here it is, and I'm sure you have seen this on her channel. I'm just going to drop this down. But she altered a muffin tin, and it is simply gorgeous. There's lace around the trim, around the um, tin, with some uh, beautiful... Um, bead bead trim that goes all the way around I love these handles and this is so you can pick it up like this like she showed in her video adorable she has all kind of bling here here I love this turquoise here here and here and then each little um, muffin pan has a top and when you lift it up there are goodies inside so inside this one here are some beautiful buttons and underneath I don't know if you can see it but there is a doily that she kind of permanently glued down and it poses at the bottom of the muffin brilliant idea Irene so cool and then under this one here there is some yellow beads and like a tassel that's so cute with the heart on it and then some gold um, gold beads so cute I, and I love this idea love it love it love it and then um, under this one here, there are some of these things, which are so cute. Look at those. They're gorgeous. So pretty. What a cool idea. And then under this one are some um, wooden pieces. So there's butterflies and mushrooms and all kind of little um, goodie pieces for spring. And then this one here has some blue beads and I love them I love the shape they got that odd shape to them and they are so pretty look at them sitting in there so so cute and then finally this one has the acrylic baubles which are so cute to use so Irene beautiful 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 she sprayed the tray with some like a um white or cream color uh, paint and then she put this on the bottom it's absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous I love the red tops with the black uh, those are like um, rings maybe ring tops so cute so I'm, I think that is it I don't want to miss oh there is two more things I'm so sorry okay so they were in these bags here cute little bag with that butterfly on them and inside this one speaking of butterflies are some beautiful red ones and I don't know if you made these or not so they're on alligator clips and look at that just adorable with the stinger or the whatever antenna so she gave me a few of those which I adore and then in this one here there are just the um, the nylon ones which is so cute because it's so sweet so small so Irene I think you did a fabulous job 
fabulous on this Tussie Mussie. It's absolutely adorable. I absolutely love it. I do. I have one other Tussie Mussie from Louisa. It's a Halloween Tussie Mussie. I adore it love it this is so cute I love these flowers I love what you did I think you did a fabulous job you didn't overdo it it's just perfect so thank you so much thank you everyone for tuning in watching this beautiful swap Irene you know I told you what I'm going through right now but your package you know is good as as gold as my word you, you're gonna get it I, I actually uh, picked up some more things the other day to put in your box because um I just wanted to share some fun items with you. So just know that it's coming and um, things are crazy around here as you and I talk about. So just, just know. And everyone, thanks again. Please go visit Irene's channel. It's Crafty Irena. She is just awesome. She has come such a... And she probably always had this talent, but... Um, I just watch her hauls and I see she does swaps and she does participates in a lot of challenges and I'm so, so happy for you for doing that. So everyone have a wonderful evening and I may come back to tonight because um, I've been working on some more of those bead sprays and I want to show you. So maybe I'll come back uh, Miss Cooper's Coop after dark. Okay, everyone have a good evening. Bye now.